this is a drug. However, it's not the drug you think it is. This is not a drug. This is actually washing powder. There are a lot of white powders in the world, and that's all it is. This is raspberry leaf. It's used for pregnant women to tone up the uterus during childbirth or before it, and it gets you ready for pregnancy. Okay, now I want to talk about the other kind of drugs. I just want to point out that simply being in favour of the legalisation of drugs, which I am, is not the same as being in favour of actually taking the drugs. The two are completely separate issues. I've known people in the past who were addicted to heroin and other hard drugs and who were also uh, habitual cannabis smokers and I don't think it did them any good at all. It made them aggressive, it made them demotivated, it made it harder for them to cope with life and all that sort of thing, as you would expect. It gave them long-term health problems, sometimes long-term mental health problems and um, and so on. And the fact that that's not a good thing doesn't mean, however, that it's okay for them to be illegal because that makes the problem worse. If you cast your mind back to the 1920s and prohibition and alcohol being illegal, of course that fed organised crime quite severely and as a result it was considered to be a complete debacle and it was repealed because it was useless, it was rubbish. And there's a lot of legal drugs which have a lot of health problems as well, like for example alcohol probably causes loads of deaths. It also causes a lot of domestic violence, uh, causes actually no, um, but it contributes to domestic violence, it contributes to rape, it contributes to days off work, um, liver problems, cancer, all that sort of thing. But none of that means that it should be illegal. And I also have to say that when I've sometimes taken too much caffeine, it's made me quite aggressive and that is not okay either. I also know how much of a heroin addiction can make people because I've known a heroin addict and it was really not good. However, if drugs were legalised, people wouldn't go out and have to find lots of money by illegal methods and commit crime, mug people, rob people, uh, be violent against people. Uh, in order to feed their drug habit. Also, they wouldn't get the same sort of health problems that they do as a result of that because the drugs would be cheaper they, and their quality could be controlled. There would be a motivation for not watering them down, not adulterating them, uh, because of the legal control people would have over them. The problem with drug policy as it stands is that it doesn't take into account the actual evidence that is in favour of the idea of them being legalised. And we've got copious evidence for that because, for example, we've got the example of prohibition. If drugs were legalised, there would be a lot less crime, uh, people would have more money, and there would be enough money fewer health problems. If you adulterate a drug and then you inject it, the chances are that's going to cause some sort of problem with the vascular system that you don't want to happen. That's not going to happen with pure drugs. Pure drugs are very harmful of course but that's not the point. And I think it's a really good example of how government policy and the laws are not based on sound scientific evidence. They're actually based on a knee-jerk reaction or an emotional response. Now I don't believe that drugs are going to be legalized anytime soon or maybe ever because you can't sell it to the population, everybody thinks it's a bad idea, and politicians in particular don't recognise evidence very well a lot of the time because of their lack of scientific training, for example. And so it's not going to happen anytime soon, but they should be legalised, um, even though they're extremely harmful. And um, it's a really good example of how people don't base policy on evidence.